Today we will discuss about Media Gateway Control Protocol. How to register the gateway to the CUCM with the help of MGCP protocol. We are having 2A21 router. So we are going to register this 2A21 router with CUCM using the protocol MGCP. So the back side of router you have to start from here back side of router this is the port ethernet port we having two ethernet ports okay this is starting with 0 and this is 1 so 0 slash 0 this is 0 slash 1 port okay this is the WAN interface model which can which where can insert the T1 E1 cards or FXO FXS cards and that okay so we can insert four cards here one this is uh, like slot 0 this is slot 1 this is slot 2 this is slot 3 this is slot 0 ok these are the 4 slots where you can insert FXS, FXO or T1, E1 cards then we have NME slot this 2 we call as a NME slot expansion network model slots CUCM IP address is 187 and we have the gateway which is 22. So we are logging to the, this voice gateway and we are going to do the configuration like gateway config to use the configuration server. So what are the configuration you are doing on CUCM it is going to download. So the gateway pulls the configuration file and applies the MGCP configuration. Okay, so the command you have to on the gateway is CCM manager config server and the CUCM IP address. These are the two commands you need to do. Before that, you need to enable the MGCP. Let's be logging to the media gateway. I'm just logging to the media gateway, voice gateway. Um, so, password I'm just giving y I'm just enabling Y for the right one, two, three. Okay, so this is my router name. So if you want to change, I'm just using config key host name MGCP. I'm just giving the capital. Okay, it's changed. And you need to give CC, you need to go to config T CCM. Manager MGCP the protocol I'm going to use. I'm just giving MGCP. So this is the, we are enabling the MGCP protocol on this router. CCM Manager Config Server 168.1.187 is our CUCM IP address. Then CCM manager config exit copy running startup right now I log into the CCM and just go into the device gateway fine I don't have any gateway I'm just adding the new gateway. 2A21 router MCCP next I need to give the domain name domain name is nothing but the host name show IP domain name don't get anything so I don't have any domain name for this particular router so the host name we need to give the host name MGCP this is the host name MGCP is the host name uh, and I'm just selecting the default and I'm just selecting the motherboard which is the slot 0 slot 1 slot 2 I don't have anything so I'm just saving the configuration and apply configuration click OK so now it's having the four slot 0 1 2 3 Talking about this four slot, slot 
this is the slot 0 wick slot 0 wick slot 1 2 3 so what are the parts presented on the router i need to add on the cucm so we are having in the wick number 3 we are having access card so let me log into the router and check what are the cards we are having so inventory is the command it will show what are the cards see in the slot 0 and sub slot 2 I am having 2 MFT T1 on slot 0 sub slot 3 I am having FXS so 3 is FXS and 2 is T1 so 3 is FXS and sub slot 2 is we are having T1 so same thing we need to configure on the TUCM side so for right now we are just going to configure on the FXS the FX is used to connect the analog phones. So I have some FX card, FXS card. So what we are going to do means we are adding this gateway and we are going to add the extension on CUCM. Like 2000 for one port and 2001. After that we are going to add from 2000 to 2001. Okay, so we are going to we are making this port to be registered on the CECM. So we can assign the extension number for the analog phones from the CECM. So in the sub slot 3, I am having 2 with 2 FXX. So apply config. Okay. Save it. First, you need to save. Okay. So it's not taking just new to fxs save see now the card slot came so i'm just going to add extension 2000 so here it's a parts click next device pool is default so you no need to select anything here just save it the dn number i am going to give 2000 so i am just going to give the name or so i am just saving so apply ok so now go to the gateway mgcp so we got the POTS, parts is configured. Now I am just going to configure one more extension from CUCM side. Default, save, ok. Add a new year, new 2001. Jiva. Just save it apply config ok so from the gateway side we added the gateway in the with the four protocol mgcp and we assign the extension 2000 and 2001 for these two ports okay. let me go to the gateway and we will check whether this Gateway got registered or not. Going to the gateway, I am just checking so CCM manager. It got registered. It got registered with 182.168.1.187. In case if it is not registering and it is telling like unresolved host name, you need to map this name to the IP address. If you are getting here domain name unresolved, okay, you need to give IP, IP, host, IP host, CU, CM, then IP address of the word, CU, CM, 187. Okay, this is the command if it is not unresolved.
show mg let me go to the ccm and check whether this gateway got registered so i, I just went to gateway just find and able to see some mgcp it is not showing ip address no issue just click the c and points you can able to see it's got registered so both the analog ports is got registered with the this is the ip address of your voice gateway if you go here call routing and route plan report you can able to see the both 2000 and 2001 so mgcp endpoints so i can able to see the both configurations this is the port number for both extension 2000 and 2001 so i am taking this phone and going to dial 2001 to 001 only okay it's got ringing so this is the phone is getting ringing okay so these are the two phones we connected on the two physical port this is on which slot so we configured via cucm thank you for watching